Welcome back to round three action here at the Vans US Open of Surfing. Round three, heat number three, features Tyler Wright representing Australia and number two on the Jeep leaderboard, taking on Malia Manuel representing Hawaii and Keely Andrew from Australia, enjoying her rookie year on tour. 30 minute heats. The winner of these ones go all the way to the quarterfinals and second and third have to deal with round four. Joe Tupel alongside former big wave world champ Peter Mel. During the break, Pete, Tyler Wright got a start into the pilings. She did, 4.0 to start this one out, but this was uh, the wave that we got to check out. Came in at a 6.5, and that's that explosive snap that we've seen from Keeley in round one to take that win, and now into round three. So uh, Keeley Andrew uh, is back once again here at HB, showing her stuff. We like it. Well, it would be interesting, you know, Tyler Wright having to uh, sit in that second position, gets to watch Courtney Conalogue serve her heat before so she would say now i need to keep up keely andrew through a couple of tough sections she'll go down you know at this level these uh women are you know pretty much have to make semis <laughs> that's right malia manuel will get started on her first wave takes one and ends up not liking it so she'll step off as we check out the jeep leaderboard tyler wright number two in the world chris amore number three in the world behind her malia up Going for one turn in the wide water, slower start. Malia took a look at away before, 0.5. The high number, Andrew 6.5, Tyler right with a 4.0. Let's see what happened on this left, Pete. Well, she climbs the white water there, difficult section, and uh, sometimes you don't get the projection that you would like on those types of uh, maneuvers. And that's what happened right there. It grabbed her rail, kind of slowed her down, so she wasn't able to get back to that open face, so just uh, had to settle for the one maneuver. Now Tyler. Picking off a left into the pier. A similar maneuver, just a tight little backside snap into the pocket. You can see the junior lifeguards on the north end still training. Having another look. Smaller wave here for Tyler, but she got a few turns off, Pete. Nice little pocket to start this one out. Gets that second maneuver, extends a little bit more, and then a vertical hit to finish. You know, in that smaller wave, but finishes with three maneuvers. You would think it better the 4.0 that she already has. Everyone's up on the pilings cheering for Courtney and Brad big time when they're back home to compete. This is Tyler right now. She'll sink on the finish, but her second scoring ride that we just watched came in at a 7-1-7 to extend her lead. Well, they did like a bit of the quantity. I mean, her maneuvers were solid, too, so I, you kind of have to expect that that's going to be uh, it was going to be rivaling that score of Keely Andrew. Um, and it did. You know, came in at a 7-1-7, so she's uh, moved herself out front. And she's just got to build as you watch that first little power pocket. Directs her board through it with ease, keeping that speed down the line. You know, riding one of the Matt Biola shapes, uh, you know, that are so suited not only to do the waves here at Huntington Beach, but also down at Trestles and around the world. It's the same shaper getting that little insight of what they're looking for and ready to compete. Obviously, they've got a great working relationship. Tyler and Chris have a ton of respect for each other in the lineup, and they've been pushing each other the last couple of seasons. Tyler's second, Chris a third at the moment on the Jeep leaderboard. As we see the Australian take another little running right here. Mixing it up, you know, without priority. Going to try and find some uh, little right-handers off the pier bowl. But those smaller rights haven't been scoring great. Speaking of Malia, checking out a left. Perfect snap to start. Little Whitewater coping. She'll make sure she rides out of the second maneuver. Her best wave so far, with now 16.30 remaining. Knows how to read the ocean. Knows how to uh, gain speed. You see, nice little combo here. You know, she knows how important it is to ride out. So she does that before she actually kicks out of the wave. Gets uh, those two maneuvers completed. Uh, pulse of swell happening. Um, on Sunday. So we'll have hopefully some Southern Hemi for then. I like that read, Pete. This is Tyler. Two quick backside turns. Not much of a wave to work with. She'll get out of there. Her fifth wave ridden so far in this matchup and still out front trying to better a 4.0 in her lead. Keeley needs a 4.68. Malia needs a 6.41. Before we went to break, we were talking about the surfer shaper relationship. Tyler on these mayhems right now. Anything? Do you like about that attempt? Well, I think that her 
previous wave. She was there earlier. We were talking about surfer shaper relationship and how dominant Matt Paolos has been with a hot hand for the top 17. We'll get back to that because Tyler's up again. One snap into a foamy finish. And she'll keep on hunting under priority. Seems like a stress reliever. Yeah, for sure. And he always has it nearby. I think it's also a good luck charm as we look at Tyler's wave. So Tyler on a smaller wave. And, you know, I think her choice would have been a little bit different had she heard the score before she uh, saw that wave. Because at this point, now she needs to better a 6.10. She hadn't known if she had done that yet. But taking a solid hold of the Jeep leaderboard, now drifting to second coming into this contest. Here goes Malia Manuel. Nice first turn. Second one right out front. Looking for a third little hook before she gets to the pier. So she fits in three moves for Malia Manuel. Take a look at this one again. This is a, a good wave choice. Wasn't that easy to surf, though, because it was one of the first set waves you've seen. You can see some chops on the face from the wind blowing out in the ocean and also the pier. But there was three sections that had some vertical face on it. it out cause she wants this nice, solid, bigger wave to make sure she can uh, maybe get that quarterfinal berth. Quick one for Tyler up and out. She was second priority. That'll drop her down to the back of the rotation. First priority still Keeley Andrew looking for a 6.78. The Australian commits. Quick little whip off the top. Keeley getting down the line, attacking the top of the lip. And now more waves on the way. Malia heading that same direction. Just feeling her way down the line. Bigger whitewater section. She'll kick out right in front of Malia. You can see the challenge of really getting a good pocket to work with. Tires on a bigger wave. Power hack through the whitewater, comes out with speed, and gets a big carve on the open face. Knowing that maybe wave number two is going to have that little cleaner face, she let wave number one go by. Let's watch the replay of Tyler. Late backhand hit from that foamy section, then gets the slash. That's kind of what I was talking about, where you can get kind of that late hit and then find a section around the corner where you can kind of carve off the top. Malia, you know, her first turn, she had to kind of cut it short because she was uh, knowing that she had to fit in that final move. This was Keeley making that choice of the second wave, which had a little foam on the face, and I thought it was going to be a good move. Sometimes you'll see. And now making a move, we're going to watch Malia Manuel. Starting to run down the line, swinging off the top, incomplete, still chasing a 7-3-7 seven, seven at the three-minute mark at those conditions, and then she got the right wedge barrel right before the U.S. Open started. Yes, it's so true. Um, you know, and she's got that ability to read the tube and it has no fear when it comes to those dredging type of waves. That's the hardest part. Winning's kind of easy and cool, but losing hurts. And, you know, you can only, you, so you try and figure out ways to soften those blows. Watching this one now, Keely Andrew. Trying to get a 6.78. We're down to 40 seconds on the clock. Remember, second and third are rerouted into round four. And now Tyler looks like she's going to answer back to Courtney's form as we're down to 10 seconds. Well, it seemed like the, that all three competitors had their opportunities, but uh, Tyler Wright just seemed to execute. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's happy. It's good times when you win. Happy smile from Tyler Wright as she welcomes Stephanie Gilmore to the lineup. Gilmore takes on Carissa Moore and Coco Ho coming up next.